Okay, so welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber and I am, I'm just getting ready. I have a meeting, a lunch meeting coming up, so I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to share something with you guys. And it's just a little bit about the conversation that I'm having with, um, let's go in and take a look. I'm so horrible with remembering names. And I hope you can hear me. If there's anybody on or when somebody jumps on, you can just let me know if you can hear me. I just, let's see, Alex, or um, Alec Cantu. We've kind of been talking on my last video denouncing the JW organization. I probably will change the um, title to this video to something like Stockholm Syndrome or something like that. But I'm kind of in, in awe shocked and awe right now because of um, just some of the thoughts that are going through my head as I was talking to Alec. So I'm going to read it to you. It's on the last video. And he says, um, thank you, Amber. I think you are getting over Stockholm Syndrome, which most of shunned people have when they feel that they are still attached to their abusers. And I replied with, Really? I hope so. Shedding the cloak of shame is very empowering. Exclamation point. But what's a trip is how easy it is to run back to it. I'm so used wait, I'm so used to it that looking at life without it seems a bit scary and t and a tad uncomfortable. And I put like the mind blown um, emoji on there at times. So so weird to say that out loud because it's contradictory. And it is because I'm like, on one hand, I'm saying it's so freeing, it's so empowering to, you know, shed this cloak of shame, which was handed to me by the Jehovah's Witness organization, which I just took and put it on and, you know, went about my, my life. And he says, um, there's something similar in abusive relationships. Some abusers tell the victims that they never find, that they'll never find another love or they Excuse me. They'll never find another to love them and that they will always fail and will never be happy again if they leave the relationship. The victim might manage to leave the relationship but keeps those mal maldiction, mal I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but maldiction words in their head as if it were true. How can elders dare say that shun people lost the privilege of resurrection and life? So true. In paradise or heaven, only God can judge them. Only God can judge, not them. The coat of shame is not your identity. I wish all shun people could have watched your video. Oh, thank you. I didn't, hadn't read all of that part yet. Let me just heart that. Um, but then I went on to, because I'm like, Stockholm Syndrome, I, I don't know why, like, I, I just had not really ever looked that up before and really, like, understood what it meant. But he, he basically said it right on, so I'm just going to, I'm going to let Google tell us. Stockholm Syndrome. According to Wikipedia, Stockholm Syndrome is a condition which causes hostages to develop a psychological alliance with their captors during captivity. Which is so true. Okay, I'm going to be doing makeup and I'm just kind of going to, this is not like a planned video. I didn't, you know, like think this through and have like all of these like things that I wanted to say. But it just really kind of hit my brain like, wow. If you really think about that, like how damaging that there's a syndrome. <laughs> I guess I just kind of started thinking I wanted to share that... It's really true, and, and I've said this at times before, and a lot of other people have said things like this as well, but it's really true that, you know, this cult that we were a part of, so damaging, I'm sorry, um, we really do need some therapy. Like, if we, if we actually sit and think about, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my makeup some of my makeup that I'm missing so I can finish getting ready. Um, and it's not going to be here 
and then I'm going to have to get up and walk away. Um, it, it's just so damaging. Like, I, I guess I've really never thought about it on those terms. You know, I've heard people say things like that before, you know, like, it's so damaging and, you know, there, and, and I say it, you know, and there's so much that we need to heal from, but I guess, you know, really taking that in and realizing that the extent of damage or, or what we allow, what we've allowed for, for them to, to give us or what we've accepted, you know, from them is just intense. And then I just kind of was like thinking about like on, on a whole, um, like who we are, the people that we have become, not only, you know, from the witness organization, but life, like we are the sum total of, so we like we're running so many different programs. And that's another really like strange thing I was thinking about the other night. Um, like, do we or or anything that we believe or or you know carry with us is it really who we are or is it who religion and society has created i mean would we really be into the fashion that we're into if it wasn't for tv would we have some of the ideals that we have if it wasn't for you know our religious beliefs or or television or memes or Facebook or I mean like who are we really at this point it's like we're almost just a product of religion and society let that sink in for a minute isn't that kind of a crazy thought but in any event I did want to say this like what I was saying to Alec was you know that it's uncomfortable. So, you know, you make a public declaration that you're denouncing the Watchtower and its teachings and you're not any longer going to accept, you know, what they have handed out. Yet, it is like, I don't know if I like that. It is, um... I don't even know what I was going to say now. Something that was like, like I was saying, like it's more comfortable to run back to those, to the, to being afraid. Um, and I think about like my daily life. I'm sorry. I probably you guys can't, you know, um, and how much of my life is ruled by the fears and experiences that I've had that I've accepted from this organization because I can tell you if I'm being really honest with myself and really honest with you there's a lot that really scares me about life you know and I probably wouldn't be afraid if I hadn't been told over and over again, you know, and accepted that the life is scary out here, that, you know, the world is a horrible place and that, I don't know, maybe I should have thought it out more thoroughly before I jumped on camera, but I just have all of these random thoughts sometimes and I'm, well, all the time, and sometimes I just want to jump on and, and share them. But I really think that a lot of us, probably all of us that came out of this organization should really, and, and it isn't, this isn't to put anybody down because I include myself in this, but we probably should be seeking some more thorough therapy so that we can really grow past all of this. I don't know why that just kind of like hit me having that, you know, small, short conversation with Alec kind of just hit me like, wow, there's so much, you know, there's so much more underneath the surface 
um, damage that's been created. I mean, we have allowed for Watchtower to scare us into submission and we've accepted all of that. So with that exception comes it being a part of our core belief system. And just because we're not always thinking about it doesn't mean it hasn't affected who we are and how we move, you know, in life. I, for one, am so tired of, you know, living in, in that fear of just everything and anything. I'd really, I desperately like to be able to shed and that cloak or that jacket of, you know, shame and fear, but on a more, um, like on a, like really, you know, like with therapy, with help, because it's, it's not easy. It's easy to say, it's easy to say, and it's easy to, th you know, throw, <laughs> throw off your jacket and, and say it on, you know, camera, but actually living without that fear is something quite different let me see if I can man I don't have a lot of time but I want to see if I can jump on here I don't know if anybody has said anything or if anybody's even watching at all um but maybe if not later um I'd like to hear you know some of your some of your thoughts on some of these things am I the only one who thinks this am I only the only one who I mean, I just recently have like really sat back and been like, wow, you know, what would life be if I wasn't, if I wasn't led to believe all the things I believe at this point? What out of all of those things that I've been taught through society, schooling and religion are actually, you know, real and helpful and I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Um, I'm really, I'm really like taken off my game that much, like by the conversation, it just really kind of hit me like, wow. Um, I wonder who we would be as, as human beings and as, you know, without all of that, if we hadn't been taught a lot of the things that we've been taught, who would we be? And, and can we truly say, you know, without without real therapy that that we're healing or that we're any different of a person than we were when we first left the organization or when we were in the organization because honestly we really hold all of those core beliefs deep inside whether we like it or not it it has shaped who we have become it has it's a a thick layer of programming that we are existing with Anyways, those are my thoughts for right now. I know it's very random and I didn't really get to the bottom of anything <laughs> this video, but due to time restraints, um, I'm going to have to get back to the subject. Maybe we can just, I wish there was a way on YouTube that we could converse with one another. I just don't, my computer is a piece of crap right now. I really need to get another computer. Um, so that I can do some stream yard or something like that and kind of bring you guys on with me because I'd like to be able to have a discussion about it. I want to hear what you guys think about it. There's so much that I gain from the comments and us talking and chit-chatting in the comment section of the videos. I wish that we could do that in a live fashion in real time so that we could talk to each other and gain insight and knowledge and, you know, and healing from one another. But if you could do me a favor and throw some comments down in the, in the section of this video so that we can expand on this. I would love, love, love to get on, you know, again later tonight. And if I'm able, uh, look in the, um, the community section. And if I can, I'll post, you know, a specific time in which we can talk. But I think that, you know, this topic is really, really worth a lot more consideration and a lot more conversation. I think opening the doors to realizing that 
a lot more damage has been done than we probably have ever anticipated or ever really realized. Maybe some of us do realize it. Maybe some of us know we're not. I just am clueless. I don't know. But I do want to, to discuss further. And I do want to know what you guys think. And I, I want to hear what your thoughts are on, on all of this randomness I just threw out at you. Um, like I said, I got to go. I have a lunch meeting I got to get to. I'm, I'm not ready at all. Um, but wanted to throw this up because it's important. Let's heal together. Let's talk about this. Leave me some comments so that we have um, a discussion forum for later this evening. Until then, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.